And a lot of us sometimes forget to hit the record button. A lot of us, when talking to the cable company, decided to put a cable box in one room, only to realize that we enjoy watching TV on the other sofa, but the cable box is not there. A lot of us, when we get to go on a business trip or get to head out on family vacation, are also disappointed now that Homeland has finally started back up, that we can't watch the latest Homeland on Sunday night. Well, take your Roku with you, and you can. And what? Is that David Venable? Yeah, is that Amy Strand? Is that Sean Killinger? Did Leah Williams have an AM style on Saturday morning? Well, if you missed it or you want to see all things new and exciting in Beauty IQ, well, that's all available as well, thanks to the Roku app that QVC has. So um, I'm going to need help in this hour because <laughs> I'm kind of new to Netflix. I didn't watch House of Cards the first season. I have now watched every season, but I kind of realized, oh, there's this thing called Netflix. Oh, there's this thing called Hulu. And now there's these things called streaming stuff. Yep. So Brett Hamilton is going to help keep us current, keep us cool, modernize us, because that's his job. He is one heck of an expert when it comes to electronics. Thank you. And if anybody has heard of a streaming stick, if anybody has <laughs> heard Roku, and they don't exactly think they know everything about it, Brett Hamilton, what is Roku? That's quite a build up. All right. <laughs> Don't let us down. We started with the jumpsuits too tight and we went right into that. <laughs> well, it is. I can barely breathe. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So for, let's start from the very, very, very bottom, from the ground okay. level, because many of you hear the term streaming and you hear about these streaming sticks and, and being able to watch programming on demand. I'm holding the Roku in my hand right now. This is it. Now, there's a power plug that goes along with it, but I'm going to show you in a second how you're going to plug this into your TV. You're going to connect it to the internet in your home, same way you would a tablet or a phone, and all of a sudden you're going to have access to more than 500,000 different choices. That's a half a million. That's exactly, thank you. That's thank exactly you. it. That's, <laughs> the jumpsuit's too tight. <laughs> but the brain's working tonight. But the brain is working, and yeah, a half a million choices staggering. If you take a peek at the TV, this is just one choice. This is a chance to watch QVC, and again, I'm going to show you some really cool stuff that you can do in the QVC world that you can't do on cable in just a little bit. But let me take you to the home screen, and let me take you to those 500,000 choices and more than 4,500 different channels. Now, I don't care what cable system you have, it doesn't have 4,500 channels. And when I say 4,500, they're broken down by categories. So we've got movies and TV, and we've got music as a music player. You can turn this into a gaming system. You can use it to search for apps. And then you can go by category. So depending on the mood that you're in, you need to laugh, and we all need to mm, laugh lately, right? Awesome. Not enough time for that. Well, there is. There's time to laugh, there's time to learn, there's time to get in shape, there's food, there's stuff for the kids, there's news and weather and all this good stuff. Even, scroll all the way down to here, more than 1,500 different religious channels and choices. In fact, there's so many of them, it takes a second for it to populate, but look at that. Up in the right-hand corner, it says 1,526 different choices. Oh, wow. So no matter what you worship and no matter how you celebrate and stuff like that, look at that, lots of different choices. This is just scratching the surface. So what does it make or what does it take to make all this come together? Well, in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install this. You're gonna plug it into the side of your TV and then it's up to you to decide what you wanna watch when you wanna watch it. And that's the really interesting part about streaming. Streaming is essentially, think of it this way. Streaming is being able to watch your favorite show whenever you wanna watch it, wherever you wanna watch it. Because many of us have cable and you have cable in one room and you're thinking, well, it'd be cool if I could watch my favorite ABC show in the kitchen or cooking in the kitchen. And then in the basement, I wanna watch, uh, or the kids wanna watch stuff down there. Then up in the bedroom at night, I wanna catch up on something on the Hallmark Channel. Well, it costs a lot of money to put a cable box in every room. How about being able to put cable in one room and then taking all of those channels that you have from your cable provider and watch them sort of a la carte? So we could build Amy's own cable network for her home, Brett's own cable network for his home, my home. Now, see, I'm now referring to myself in third person. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but the idea is that you can watch what you want when you want to watch it. And because it's completely portable, as long as you have access to the internet, as long as you have Wi-Fi in your home, you can go and explore whatever it is that you're in the mood for at any time. Okay, so let's go, let's go over what you get. Yep. Um, because that's where the value comes. And I should just stress, a QVC too big deal ends at 9 p.m. Eastern sharp. So we're a little after eight. So you don't even have a whole hour to grab this value. It's not gonna go away at the end of the day. It's gonna stop promptly at 9 p.m. This is everything I get. I'm seeing it and walk me through it. Oh. Yeah, so there's, there's the pretty version I'm of sorry, it. I'm sorry guys, well, I kinda wanted to linger on that what you get, that was my bad. Yeah, so, so there it is right there. And again, when you look at it, you go, well, there's a remote control and what looks like a thumb drive for a computer. 
Uh, it looks like a thumb drive, but this does not plug and will not work in a computer. This is made for a television. It's killing me to sit here. Yep. Just because I want to point. Go ahead. You be the voice. Yep. Go ahead, and, go ahead and You're point. Pat, and, I and, and, yep. So this is what looks like a thumb drive. Oh, because I'm thinking about my parents. I don't think my mama and my daddy know what a thumb drive is. Well, a, th <laughs> a thumb drive is the same type of device that you would plug in a computer to transfer data, okay. information, pictures, and all it's that like stuff. It's like the cool thing that all of us use now instead of a CD. There you go. Thing goes on this. Right. It looks like it, but it's not okay. because the port that it goes into on your television is different. And again, if you stick with us for a few minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set that up. Okay. So that's, that's my Roku. That's my thumb drive. That's the Roku. The two cables behind there are used to plug the power into that device itself. It still okay. needs AC and that's why you see a power plug to your right there. And then in the center, a remote control. A remote control different than the remote control that you're used to in that there is voice activation. There's a tiny little microphone. If you look at the very center of that remote or I can hold mine up, there's a little tiny mic and the mic exists for one reason, to make your life easier. For karaoke. Car oh, for, no, what's not for karaoke? <laughs> Uh, the <laughs> jumpsuit's too tight, half a million, and now it's karaoke. All right, look up at the screen and watch this magic trick. Uh, we haven't rehearsed this. Give me any TV show, any movie, uh, an actor, an actress, whatever you're in the mood for right this second if you're we home. We are watching The Crown. Okay, so if you had cable in your home and somebody came over and said, let's watch The Crown, you'd say, I don't know what that is and I don't know how to find it. Or if you got the Roku and you had to search for it, you wouldn't know how to find it. All you have to do is hold down the microphone and say, the crown. Ooh, and there it is. There she is. The now, here's what's really cool about this. It will automatically tell you where it's available. And in this case, because the crown is exclusive to Netflix, it says Netflix. And because I have a Netflix subscription, it's included. So let's get something a little more obscure. Give me, uh, give me something older. Give me something that's 10, 15 years older, or just an actor or an actress. What's the one? There's with no wrong the, answer um, here. I'm trying to think. I'm, there's a really good show that used to be on HBO about Baltimore, and I never the saw Wire. it. The Wire. Thank you. It's a great show. Okay, time. apparently four people <laughs> saw the show. I never watched it. HBO. Until I started watching The best Affair. Best ever show. And realized that the actor from The Affair is in The Wire, and I love him yeah. in The Affair. Now I kind of want to watch The Wire, but it's like, how old? Well, The Wire is probably a good 10 years old. Okay, right? well, then The point. Wire. That's the perfect example. Let's say 15. All right, so I'm going to hold down the microphone and say, The Wire. There's the wire. That guy. There Dom he is. Dominic West. Yeah. So now to find the wire, it goes and it finds all the different choices. Now, for those of you that have Amazon video, or no, I'm sorry, those of you that have Amazon Prime, you don't realize this. You're not just getting the free and the two day shipping. Do you see how it says included with subscription? I'm an Amazon Prime member. That means all the video from Amazon that's up here is free. Or if you don't have Amazon, you could go down there and you could pick it up for $1.99. The point is, is that it's showing you how to access this. And in many cases, that content is included with something that you already own or might just be free. Because there is, unlike a lot of the other streaming services out there, thousands and thousands and thousands of free TV shows, free movies, free games, free apps. I don't want you to think that you buy this thing and then you automatically have to start spending money every time you use it. Does Netflix cost money? Yep. Hulu? Yep. But there's a lot of free content as well. And I, I got this message earlier on Facebook. The little device itself, what do we do with the, oh, you already lost it. Nope. There it is. The thumb drive. <laughs> there's no fee to use this as a Roku. There are fees for the streaming services that are, that are pay as you go. But for those of you that are going, well, my cable, when I buy that box or I rent that box every month, I have to pay every month? No. To get to the majority of what's up here, like QVC and YouTube and the Roku channel, all that stuff's free. You buy this one time, you own it, and you can get to much of what you see up here. So, so wait, can I pause with the value? Yeah. Because at this point, you just have about 15 minutes to grab this for $59.96 with four easy payments of $14.99 with the reduced shipping and handling of $3 and change. But normally it costs $73. It doesn't always have the easy pay. It doesn't always have the reduced shipping and handling. What does the CBS All Access to Months mean? Yeah, so the, the reason we're giving you this is this is a chance to kick the tires for those of you that have never picked up a subscription service for one of the streaming offers. That's uh, Netflix or Hulu or Amazon. CBS All Access gives you access to all the CBS content on any TV that you want without being plugged into cable. Now, I'm not telling you to go cut your cable because many of you want to be able to access as much as possible in that main room, right? You want to be able to use your cable for whatever it is you're going to use it for. But, 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 and this is a big one. 
to rent an extra box for this room, for this room, for this room, for this room, that you're not in all that time, why would you spend another 10 or $15 a month for extra boxes for something that you're not using that often when you could own essentially the biggest, and that's it right there, of all cable slash DVR boxes slash satellite boxes, because that device right there will give you access to everything that's on cable and stuff that's not on cable. So that's what CBS Access, uh, All Access is an example of, but the Roku, it's gonna give you access to stuff that you can't do with your cable. And here's a perfect example. There's a QVC channel, not an app, but an actual QVC channel on Roku. And only on Roku. And only on Roku. Now, you're saying, well, I have QVC at home, so big deal. You can't do this at home. Watch this. There's QVC, there's Beauty IQ. Can you get Beauty IQ on your TV? No. QVC2, well, you're watching us on QVC2 right now, but you might be watching us on your phone or your tablet because we're not in every market yet. You can also, and this is the big payoff right here, look at all of the options down here that allow you to go and pick up on-demand content. So you can just watch In the Kitchen with David on a Thursday night at 10 p.m., even though it's on a Sunday afternoon. Or you missed it on Wednesday, and that new episode that just ran yesterday is Ready right there. So there's the 14th. So that was this past Wednesday. For those of you that missed In the Kitchen with David, now you can watch it when you want. There you go. Is that you right there? Yeah, that was from last night. We debuted Brooke Shields. We had a special lineup, engaging New York Fashion Week. I mean, it was a hot, hot show. If you missed I, it, how cool. Can I just say that she looks incredible? I know. <laughs> she's six foot. Oh, that girl right there? Yeah. <laughs> I know, you meant Brooke Shields. But um, yeah, she's six feet tall. It's, a, it's, it's the first time I've seen her in person. She's and amazing. Of course, and I had a crush nice. on her when I was younger. But she was very sweet mm -hmm. and looks real and just so so good for her or whatever. But uh, yeah, so now you can go and pick up shows that you missed, that you forgot to DVR, that you weren't home to watch, and we're watching them on demand. And that's an example of on demand. What is on demand? On demand is exactly what we just did. It's 13 after eight on a Friday night. This show already happened, but now it's happening when you want it to happen. And much, if not all of what you're gonna see on the Roku works that way. So how does this thing work? How do I make it come to life how do I do all the cool stuff that I've been doing? This remote control is how you're gonna do it. And the remote control could not be easier to use. It's basically uh, going up and down, left and right on the remote control to get to wherever it is that you wanna go. We're watching Amy right now from another show, but when we wanna go home, there's a home button on the screen. And I simply tap the home button. See how you were waving by just as you disappeared? <laughs> that was weird. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so now, once I hit the home button, I go back to the screen itself. So I'm gonna stand up here and give you like a little okay. uh, five day forecast. <laughs> the whole idea is to set this screen up to look like you want it to look. Uh, many of us have phones and we can tap and move the little, ta or the, uh, little icons around. Same thing with the computer. So watch this. We go down here and we find something that we wanna watch or that's something that we've already saved. And if you wanted to move it around, you're gonna use the remote control and you're gonna kinda hit this little multi-function button. And when you turn that on, it gives you some options. And one of them is to move the channel. So watch this, I'm gonna take Showtime by pushing up on the remote. We parked it right next to QVC. So now I can go over here and watch Netflix and all this good stuff, but then you say, wait a second, how about something new? How about something that I don't already have? Scroll to the left and you have a menu. And if you go down into streaming channels on the menu, we can roll over here and pick out something to add to our world. So you tell me, Amy, let's find... Um, let's do food. You wanna do food? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, so if we go into the food section, it'll take a second, but it's gonna go and it's gonna load, I don't know, in this case, it's probably a few hundred, if not a thousand different choices. There's 156 different food choices. So what do we wanna do? Maybe we wanna eat healthy. When you get to something that you want, you scroll over and you hit okay. It will immediately tell you if there's any fee. And in this case, there is no fee. I want to add this channel, same button I used before, just hit OK. It so now adds it's going the to like our home page because this is going to be a channel that we're going to watch a lot of? Exactly. So okay. what it's doing is when it adds the channel, it says OK. All I have to do to find it later on is go home. And when I go home, it's going to be the last thing that we added. So it'll be at the very bottom. There's healthy recipes. Again, to make it move, you hit the little multifunction button, you hit the move channel, and we're going to slide it up here so that after we watch In the Kitchen with David, if we wanna move over for another dose of food, there's healthy recipes. So can we pause for a moment? Yeah. Because as you're doing this, I'm seeing some things that are catching my eye. Like sure. I just saw something that said Disney on it. Okay. So like I recognize HBO. Yep. And I recognize CBS. Yep. But then there's a lot of things I'm not recognizing. So like, are they r random channels that Roku has come up with? Or is this like stations that have been out there that I just haven't been able to watch? 
It's it's a mixture of both. That's okay. the Disney Channel right there. So many of you have the, the lowest. Acorn TV. I've never Acorn even heard of that. Acorn TV. My wife.